Hello antique fans and welcome to my antique channel. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Deanna and I'm the owner of Vintage Touch Antiques. Well, it's hard to believe, once again, another month has clocked off the calendar. But uh, we all know how time really flies. And so November 2016 is history, and this is December the 1st. And it's time for What's Been Selling. Now, those of you new to my channel, when I do a What's Been Selling video, I'm sharing with you what I've sold during the past month that I had featured here on my webpage. These are not all of my sales, but just the featured items. I do feature sometimes some things that I even have online for sale in my online store and eBay. And in this month, I believe I, I had two featured items that did sell online. So let's just get right in and see what's been selling. This first item was a wonderful antique uh, Christmas ornament. It's a praying child, and it was a blown glass ornament. It had the clip on the bottom so that it would stand up on your tree limb. It was three and a half inches long. And if you're familiar with antique ornaments or anything like that, you'll know that they do sell for quite a bit for some collectors. Some of these are getting very, very hard to find and collectors do want them and they will pay a premium for them. In this case, this one was in very good condition and I sold it for $25. But some go for way more than that. The next item was this lady's high top velvet hat. Now this was an early hat. It had chenille decoration here and grow grain ribbons that stream down the back and that piece I do believe I showed it in one of my haul videos when I first bought it and that piece sold for $15. Now this was one of those We Folks storybooks and this one was um, a little book that had the dust cover here on the left and it was um, stories from the Old Testament and that little book sold for $10. Now I was having a little bit of problem here technically, so I hope that isn't going to be the case. Now this is another old pewter bowl and I just loved it because as you could see it's misshapen and out of round and it just had that wonderful um, primitive character wear to it and this was marked old colonial it was a pedestal compote type of bowl and this one sold for fifteen dollars great item to use at christmas time the uh, pewter just goes so well with early christmas pieces another pewter piece i did have a pewter display actually it's still up and i have sold several pieces out of that display this was uh, an early pewter shallow bowl. I'm not going to try to give you the name. It's right here. I don't think I could pronounce that. But it was an eight and a half inch shallow bowl. Has, again, the great patina. And that one sold for $10. Like I said, I was having some technical difficulties that's usually the way it goes when you're trying to do a do a film and if it doesn't clear up I'll have to go back to the beginning of my album and click on which is what it looks oops let's go to my albums here and let me just click on the next photo and see if that works now if the picture would just come up would be okay huh Okay, there it is. This is a William A. Rogers pewter flower vase. Again, another pewter piece that was part of my pewter display that I had at my antique booth. And this one sold, I believe, let's see how high that one was. Um, I guess I don't have that in the description. But this one sold for $9. I love the shape of that. Now this was a flamboyant pink ladies 
um, hat, lots of, uh, I mean, if you could see it from all the angles, which you can't in here, in this particular photo, but it was really a gorgeous hat. And that one did sell on eBay as well. I forgot about this item being an eBay sale, and that one sold for $22. I'm going to, it looks like, have problems this whole, this whole filming. So let's just, let's just do it this way and see if it works. Now this was an advertising button hook. It was, it had on here, Waynesboro, PA. You look at all the um, reposé or embossed. Um, decoration there. It did have a date 1894 and that piece sold for $10. I'm just gonna have to start going back it looks like. I'm just gonna be fighting with this all day. Okay now this one is a book. I loved the um, red and white stripes there and your military people there with the torch in the middle and it was entitled Our War for Human Rights. It's a hardback book, copyright 1917. Would make a great piece to display with patriotic pieces as well as to read it of course and that one sold for ten dollars. So I'm just going to try going back and then going forward. Maybe that'll work better. Looks like the pictures are really slow trying to even load today so let's see if this one loads because this was just I did show this little dress in a new arrivals video and it was just adorable it's a little child's chemise dress a foil of a foil fabric there with little pin tucks and all and that one early 1900s sold for $35 And I showed this in um, one of my videos. I did have this a while. I added this little carved stone mouse. This is an antique mousetrap, and it did have the original label and the patent date of 1877. It can, uh, Lovell was the manufacturer, and it sold on eBay for $35. Again, hesitation here, but when it comes up, uh, this was a great little pair of antique 19th century child's or little, little child's uh, high top button shoes. It had the scalloped edging right there, as you can see, which does bring a little bit more money usually. The four buttons as well, and those sold for $38. Afraid to hit the next button. I'm afraid it won't, it won't go forward because I'm having so many difficulties here. And this is a well-aged pottery bowl coming up slowly here. As you can see, it's very mottled. It's got a few little chips around the uh, rim, but such a great primitive, kind of an iron stone type of a bowl, a uh, deep dish type, and. Um, I just loved it because I love the modeling and the aging that you see that's just, uh, you can't duplicate it. And it looks great with the, if you're going to fill it with something and display with other primitives. And this bowl sold for $10. Now this was a wood primitive divided knife box. Hope the picture shows up here pretty soon. There we go. And it was, it's not painted or anything. It's just your um, dry wood look that a lot of primitive collectors really look for and love in primitives. And this one sold for $35.
and this is going to be um, a country blue star pattern patchwork quilt. This is really, I really apologize for this. This is not anything that I can control. For some reason, it's just really, really slow today. And I don't know what to do about it because it was coming up. Let's see if I can go back. It just doesn't want to cooperate here. Well, let's try it this way again. There we go. Okay, this was, you can see the star pattern here. It's a country blue, heavy quilting, which made it really nice. Great patina that comes with these early quilts like this, because and they can fold and be stacked so easily. I just adore them. This one was a 62 by 70 inch one, and this quilt sold for $99. There we go, we did an X. <laughs> Now this was um, a little swing type of picture frame. It had a tin type photo in it of a family there, 19th century. Um, small size of a frame and it swung from the side rather than the, um, the top and bottom. And I believe that was, it held, the, the frame was three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And that piece sold for $15. Now this was a Victorian beaded cross. This is an ornament. And um, these old beaded ornaments are, you know, are very sought after. People just love them. I could see a whole Christmas tree decorated in these early beaded ornaments that would be beautiful. This one, like I said, was a cross. It's the three-dimensional look there, sold for $10. And now this, the fork has all, was already sold, so in this case it was just this bone-handled knife. It did have, um, it had that curved look, and it was marked Globeworks, and uh, whatever that name is, they're right beside it. But it, it was a from the 1820s to 1840s, and that knife alone sold for $15. Now this was a Bemis fabric, very heavy fabric grain sack, very large size. Uh, 17 by 33 was the size on that. And that one sold for $12. This is just maddening. <laughs> and then I sold an antique potato masher. This had the twisted wire and then the wavy... Um, masher there on the end. That one sold, that gadget, which I sell a lot of kitchen gadgets, that one sold for $7.50. Then I sold this, sold this wonderful um, eight and a quarter inch clay face Santa. He is a beauty. He has the clay face, the clay hands, and the clay boots and blue cloth uh, pants and the little feather tree here that he held. Um, I did recently just put up a video on my collection of clay face Santas and so uh, he was hard to give up but uh, he did sell and the price that I had on him was $139. And then this is a 19th century narrow loom, which means that it um, had to be uh, woven in two pieces. It would have the center seam. That's the thing that you would look for for a narrow, uh, that 
that dates them to 19th century, mid 19th century, because that was the size of the loom. This one measured 78 by 95 inches. Great uh, navy blue graphic pattern there. And the price on that was $99. And then here was an early uh, treen or wood, a primitive stomper or masher, uh, what they would use to stomp or mash things in bowls. It had a little um, twine there to hang it. But as you can see, it was apparently carved out of a piece of wood that had this odd shape to it and it was just a great patina all just smooth and wonderful and that was uh, it measured 11 and a half inches and that piece sold for $15 and then another sock darner you always hear me in my other videos talking about sock darners and how you know I can't pass them up because I sell them and I do I sell them online and I also sell them in my shop and this one, a natural wood one, sold for $6. And then here was a, a wonderful antique sewing pattern tracing wheel. It had this brass um, wheel there. It measured five and a half inches long. And the price that I had on that was $18. And also, you hear me talk about footstools that you can't have enough. Here's why. This one is that was a great primitive. Had this um, a little scallop skirted effect here. A early green paint here, weathered bench top. Wonderful piece. Sold for thirty nine dollars. And a large treen butter bowl. Great out of round shape, as you can see. There, when you look for those old ones, you'll notice they don't, they're they not symmetrical, and that makes them just wonderful, in my opinion. And this one sold for $39. And then the last item, these were like a set of six. Well, I sold them individually, so they would have been sell, they sold for $18 total. There's six little. Ironstone Johnson Brothers England dessert bowls. They had the early mark on the bottom of each one. Like I said, sold for three each for $18 total. And that brings us back to the beginning, and I'm sorry for all of the technical difficulties this, uh, tr this time. Sometimes that happens, but we got through it. And that is what I did sell for November 2016 from the featured items that I had listed here. So I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'd like to invite you, if you're new to my channel, to check out my channel because I have a wide variety of antique related playlists. I have 20 playlists uh, in all of different antique related categories. So you might want to check that out. and would love to have you subscribe and for those who are subscribing or would like to subscribe be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't have to miss any of the new videos that I might be putting up and I'd also like to direct your attention to the description of the video where you will find links to this web page where my sold album is here, plus other featured items uh, grouped in category in albums there on my page, as well as the link to my online store where I sell a wide variety of vintage as well as antique pieces and try to make those good prices and good uh, bargains for you. So just hop on over there and see what I have for sale. And let me invite you to visit me at Antique Crossroads. That's where my double space booth is located. It's located on the left side of the mall third row. Just look for the vintage touch sign that hangs in the back of my booth. And then, before I close, let me remind you to enjoy your antiques and enjoy your collecting because when you own an antique, you own a piece of history. So bye-bye till next time.